if we're trying to play our defect runs really, really well, we should be taking upwards of two or even three hours. Remove two is an interesting one. Definitely leaning more towards a boss swap now. Especially since my options are either face an elite before going to a rest site or only face one elite. Those are the options. Uh, and that's great for a boss swap because we either get a, a boss swap that's powerful enough to kill the elites and then we can just go barging through the tough part. Or we get a different boss relic that isn't as strong immediately. Um, we take a weaker but safer path and then we have the long-term value from that boss relic. Frag Pandar, thanks for the prime sub and the two months. You keep watching, I'll keep streaming. Get a Philosopher's Stone, that's perfectly fine. The additional damage from every enemy is definitely spooky. This is not my favorite start, but it has no player limitation to it. And that can definitely help us out. Also, the Elites of Act 1 are not that scary with a Philo Stone, so this could be good reason to go for an early Elite here. When was the last time I killed Heart, killing zero Elites in Act 1? I've only done that once or twice, but it is possible. It is very much possible to, to skip all of the Elites and still get a kill on the Heart. But yeah, you really do, really do want the the rare cards and the relics and the money from killing elites early. It's so valuable. So very valuable. Can I lock in? Can I commit? Maybe if I do three. Yeah, we can go to a shop here if I want to. There's no way to fight three elites, is there? There's not, huh? Tragic, I say. Um, and yeah, these all have. I guess I have more options if I start out this way, because then I can, I can go to the green if I if I feel like I need to panic, or we can go red. Yeah, this way to start. Optionality. Strike, strike, defend, zap, take six. Sounds good. Three strikes will already kill. Let's defend. It's not a very good potion. Early turbos have bit me in the butt a little bit. I think a cold snap is probably a worthy addition. More block can help with the Philo Stone. And it's an attack card. Yeah, especially with four energy, an early turbo is complete nonsense to take. We need card draw first. These are all pretty mediocre. Unfortunately, not the cards we're looking for here. Barrage is weak without good orb generation. I don't like it that much without a starting orb. I guess it could be okay. Recursion is just zap, except if we draw it on turn one with no other orb gen, it's actually worse than zap. It does nothing at all, which is very bad. Definitely don't want to add cards to your deck that can give you a chance to do nothing with your turn. Gotta say, what I'm seeing so far is not encouraging me to go towards an early elite here. But I am willing to press onward for now. I think we're okay enough. 
Maybe with four energy, we still get one more, only one more card reward, one more chance at potion. Mm -hmm. I think what you're noticing with a lot of the boss swap runs is how much defect relies on the lightning orb in Act 1. Yes, it is a big part of the defect's early damage output. However, consider that with four energy per turn, we make up most of the damage deficit immediately. So if you get an energy relic, any energy relic at all, you're pretty much even with where you were. And then you very quickly get better as you add more cards. But only if the cards you add are actually good, which is apparently dependent on finding them. Good cards, that is. Surprisingly hard to do. Hmm. I think I take the barrage. I'm willing to keep going this way. Not bad. We're worried about the short term. The banana is the best way to get through the next elite. Okay, that it gives us, uh, looks like 13 health instead of 23. Or we could just take 5 permanent health. That is kind of good. I believe. I believe. Oh good, we get an extra fight. So we have two card rewards. Not one. That's great news. Not much choice here. Can't kill either of them, so we just block. And hit them each for six. Would I see defect is worse than the other character or just harder? Primarily just harder. I would estimate defect to have a skill cap that is like five to ten times higher than the other characters. Genuinely. This character just has so many more possibilities for winning deck. So many more possibilities for ordering of cards during turn, too. Especially when you take into effect, uh, take into consideration cards like Seek, Rebound, and Hologram. A triple ones, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the cozy sub club. Hey, Streamline is back. Scrape is back too. I see you, Scrape. Definitely easy to get distracted and lose your original win plan. True. It's also really easy to have to pivot your win plan because you don't get offered the remaining pieces to whatever you might have had in mind. Definitely take it streamline here. Okay, we should be fine for the elite, too. So this fellow shouldn't be that hard either. Although, again, one extra damage taken per turn adds up pretty quick. We do start to suffer. Okay, there's a good potion. We should be fine for the elite, then. Actually decent potion and a ball lightning. Ball lightning helps fill up the orb slots for the barrage, and it's even more damage. That's probably the perfect add here. Charge battery's not horrible either, but we definitely want offense more than defense, and crucially, we want the orb gen for the barrage. So let's take Ball Lightning. We get three sentries as our elite. That definitely seems like one of the better options here. I think Grumlin Knob could have been pretty bad. I do plan to use the Forge Potion. Question is, on what hand? I don't think with this hand. We only get six more damage here, as the block upgrades don't matter this time around. Let's just defend, defend, hold, snap, strike. Although I guess I could have played only one defend and done cold snap, strike, strike. Seems better to upgrade potion here, though. We get to play double upgraded defend, zap is free, and I can ball lightning and strike. 
Unfortunately, we're not able to kill the front sentry here. Because I didn't uh, triple attack. But we're going to block basically all the damage. Seems good. And then Barrage is full power next turn. This would be the other turn to maybe consider upgrading the cards for. We get Streamline, Barrage, Strike, and we can play Dual Cast 2. Block with the Frost Orb. But then I'd be taking more damage this turn. Yeah, no. Use this. But yeah, we do want to dual cast Frost. We should Barrage and Streamline first. I guess finish you with Barrage. Streamline the other guy. Seems very unlikely we kill this one in time. Maybe we streamline the middle one. It's always kind of hard to decide who will you kill second in this fight. Usually my line of thinking is that you should target the one that you can kill three turns from now. Or, or rather, the one that will be attacking three turns from now. Or two turns hence, rather. So next turn, this one attacks. I'm not likely to be able to kill this with only one more hand of draws, given how many days we have. So we shouldn't target this one then. Two turns hence. With two draws, can I do 25 damage? Probably, especially with the lightning orbs going off. So we want to block the next 11 coming from this one by killing it in time. Lightning orbs say I made the right choice too. Looks like it worked out. Yeah, that definitely worked out. Although I guess it wouldn't have mattered since they're both dead. Excellent. Either way. Yo. How about that? A Seek. Who wants a Seek in their deck? Literally everyone. Do we upgrade the Seek immediately? That is a little bit less clear. I don't know if Seek is the best first upgrade because you ideally want to use Seek to get your upgraded cards. I think Streamline might be our best first upgrade. Or possibly even Barrage, especially with this Potion of Capacity. But I think Streamline for that plus five. Is there ever a Seek that you wouldn't take? With Velvet Choker, I could definitely see not taking a Seek. I don't know about that, actually. Even even with Velvet Choker, it feels like it's probably worth it most of the time. Just to have the flexibility of what card you play. <clears throat> um, but I would say that there are times where you should take a better card instead of Seek. For example, Seek versus Echo Form. After a boss reward, that's not so easy to answer as take the Seek, right? Because maybe the Echo Form is actually stronger for your deck. It can help you win the run. But yeah, would I ever click skip over Seek? I'll probably never. Uh, yeah, if you're doing Minimalist. Okay, there you go. There's there, there's the weird context for it. If you're trying to get the Minimalist achievements, and you're not allowed to add any more cards, then you click on the skip. Rinviri says, how much more difficult would the sentries be if they if they were all synchronized, if they all did the same thing? That'd be spooky. I think you would take 5 to 10 more damage average in that fight, at least. Sounds spooky. Sounds really spooky. I'm not sure which one first would be worse. Feels like all attacking on turn 1 would maybe be really nasty. And then they do it again on turn three. Yeah, that's got to be the, the nastiest outcome possible, is to start with the attack. But even if they all started with debuff, I think it'd be horrifying. Just horrifying. All right, we want to go this way, I'm thinking. Delay the shop until after the elite. We shouldn't need help for this elite, I don't think. Not with four energy. Or hope not, anyway. Thankfully, it is not Grumlinob. 
good news. Would definitely prefer to begin this fight by playing Streamline and or the Frost Orb. Do Streamline Strike Strike? Yeah, that's fine. Not ideal, but perfectly fine. That's a good seat draw, at least. Put Cold Snap in front, because we might need to dual cast that. In fact, we can seek dual cast for that block next turn. Try not to take too much damage here. Defend, defend, seek for dual cast, and cold snap. Full blocks this, actually. Skip the barrage, but that's fine. And then we have lots of damage cards next turn. Turn after that, though, a little bit spooky. This is 12 damage. Maybe I should take the 5. Yeah, we should probably do that. Skip one, defend, play Barrage, Cold Snap, defend, dual cast. Yeah. We should do that. Four strikes and you're out? That's fine. We got to spend all our energy attacking. I don't really care what it was on. Lightning Orbs this turn would have been better, but it's not a big deal. I think we kill either way. Yeah, we do. Okay, that was a good fight. We score a Panagraph. Meaning we heal 25 before the Guardian. Hopefully that means I can just upgrade for the rest of the act here. Although two hard pool fights at 20 health is a little spooky. Not if I have a Glacier. Nope. Not if I have a Glacier. Where was that card last run? I don't think we saw a single one. More healing. Toy Ornithopter. Okay. Okay, that's enough health then. And blue key versus blue candle. Feeling blue here with this pick. We take the key. Blue candle very rarely is a useful relic in a run. Uh, and I think especially for defects, not very helpful. Now we can upgrade seek and feel pretty good about it. an event, which is actually a red slaver. Oof. But I can full block here. Cold snap, dual cast, defend. To not get ruined here. Yes, please. Now we should be able to kill him in two turns here. Sure hope so anyway. Yeah, we're good. No problem. Oh boy, another potion. Great uh, potion drops this run so far. We have the option for rebound here, which I like, but what about a sweeping beam? We've got a decent damage core, but we're currently lacking any sort of AoE option. We do have a couple of hard pool fights coming up. And, of course, in Act 2, we've been finding that our defect runs do tend to flounder a bit. To that end, what if we took the beam instead of the bound? I think that might be right. Which characters do I think have the best or worst curse tolerance? Defect might have the worst. Silent has discard... Watcher has Scry, and Ironclad has Exhaust as ways to deal with curses. Ironclad just has synergy with half the curses, too. It's definitely not Ironclad who has the worst tolerance. I think it is Defect who has the worst uh, curse tolerance. The least ability to handle curses without losing health. It can beam. Remember Triple Cultists? I remember. All right, let's get to a shop with this much money. Still like our path here. Frozen Eye. You know what would have been really, really good last run? Frozen Eye. Definitely like the idea of buying it here. We could even buy a Cold Snap, too. 
Could consider a real capacitor. It feels weird to buy this card when I have two freaking potions that give me two orb slots. Feels very weird to do that. Probably I'll use one against Guardian. I'll probably use the other one in one of these hallway fights for five health. So I think I'm going to use them both. Oh, can we do Frozen Eye Remove? That might be even better. Yeah, let's do that. Be gone, Strike. Definitely heading in a direction of a defect that wants uh, focus and orbs. Hopefully we can find some focus. Just give me, what, Streamline, Sweeping Beam, Strike? Is that the right move? Wait, we know what the draw pile here. So next turn we're drawing Sweeping Beam, Strike, Ball Lightning, Double Defend. This will probably attack me for 11. I prefer if it died sooner rather than later. So you know what we're going to do is seek for Streamline and Ascender's Bane. Play the Glacier here. And then we kill the Slime. And then we kill the beast. Uh, and before the fight ends, I'm going to drink this potion for five health. Yeah. Good move. We want some more AoE. Doom and Gloom is here. Channels another orb. Does big damage to all enemies. I like it. Being able to seek for a dark orb is also pretty powerful. No reason to want that heat sinks, unfortunately. Ow. Um, probably just take the seven. Probably just take the seven. Next turn we get seek, so we're fine. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Chill versus Hologram. I like Chill a lot for getting Frost down quickly. It's another card that scales with multiple enemies. Hologram, meanwhile, we've seen is a defect staple. Great with Streamline. Even better with Seek, actually. I think the Frozen Eye makes it pretty good, too. But next to a Chill? That's tough. a really hard time not wanting chill. I guess it's a good upgrade right away. I could upgrade Doom and Gloom or Sweeping Beam, but an upgraded Hologram is pretty good short-term, too. Re correctly predicts Bird Nerds. I'm not afraid of Bird Nerds. We got Barrage. And with four energy, yeah, I think Hologram is favored a bit more. So let's take an upgrade uh, hologram here. And then we'll plan to use this capacity potion in this fight. Okay, this looks fine. Right, this is fine. If I Hollow Ball Lightning, Cold Snap, Barrage, is that enough? We do 7, seven plus 6 is 13, plus 12 is 25, plus 6 from 2 Lightning Orbs is 31. That's enough. Do that. Double defend, play the streamline, looking decent here. Ooh, 
leave the doom and gloom in the draw pile. Want to get this cost reduced. I don't think I play any attacks on this turn, although we could play Streamline again. Take four to do that. That is probably worth it. Okay, am I dependent on evoking Frost here? Block for 24. Shaman out with a prime sub and the eight months of support. Thank you, thank you. And an oldie but a goodie for Just XW. What is the defect's favorite snack? Computer chips. So thinking about using the potion of capacity, but I don't want to use it if I need to evoke the frost for block this turn, right? We don't want to take immediate damage to do that, I don't think. Uh, so if I if I currently play Glacier, we'll get 12 block, immediately have two frost. Then goes to 17 block. 23. Yeah, I actually do need that frost evoke for more block this turn. So I'm not gonna use that. Although I could use it before I play Cold Snap. Yeah, I think that's actually the line here. Glacier first, then potion, then cold snap. This is the way. Easy peasy. Skipping strike there so that we get another damage turn instead of having this be the first curl up turn. I can just outright kill now, I think. GG. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. We've had first seek, yes, but what about second seek? I tend to find multiple seeks are very strong, as you can then use one seek to get the other seeks, and you can have more chosen cards in your hand, and then have some sort of absurd combo from there. Don't think I like reboot that much, but I could see taking machine learning for additional card draw per turn. That does seem like a nice way to scale for consistency. So I could see machine learning being better than seek, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah, we do have enough energy to to really make us want this too. I'm going to take the Seek. Not, not that I don't think the machine learning is good, but I think multiple Seeks is really strong. Fusion Hammer or Busted Crown for energy options. Or we can take a Sacred Bark, doubling the effectiveness of potions. We do have two potions, but they're terrible. So they're not much better if doubled. Don't like not being able to upgrade the other Seek, but other than that, I don't hate taking a Fusion Hammer here. I think Defect in general does struggle a bit with 
fusion hammer. Because the upgrades tend to be very valuable for this character. But there are other ways to get upgrades, and five energy is a lot of energy. Do we heal for 10 from Ornithopter with Sacred Bark? No. No, we don't. We would never want to take the Busted Crown here at the end of Act 1. This would limit our deck building far too much. Can we use 5 energy right now? Easily, yeah. Very easily we can use 5 energy. We have lots of 2-cost cards. We have Seeks and Holograms. So I can just do Doom and Gloom, Hologram, Doom and Gloom. That's that's 5 energy right there, and I'd, I'd even prefer to have more than that so I can play the other cards in my hand. So yes, we can easily use 5 energy. Yeah, we've already got one Seek and the Hologram upgraded, which is really important. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the extra energy here. I think this will pay off really big here in Act 2 to have this much power. And if we're really lucky, maybe we can get an Apotheosis later game. It's going to be a good reason to look at many shops. So we do want to go Elite Hunting to some extent here. Two elites is the most that seems reasonable. We could do one, two, three, but the path is spooky. I don't think I want to try that. I think I'd rather go to a shop or something. Or just a fire first for a heal. Duras for Turor, thanks for the prime sub and 41 months of support. And GB3, thanks for the prime sub and six months. Gotta say, with the Fusion Hammer, I do kind of wish we had taken the uh, Machine Learning. Instead of the Seek. But the, the Seek will still pay off big. Yeah, there's a Fire before and after the Elite this way. That's not horrible, actually. Probably we do want something like that. Let's take three combats in an event and then see if we're willing to go to a shop or not. Okay, looks good. Five is a lot of energy. Nicholas Clooney, thanks for the tier one sub. Welcome to the cozy sub club. If I just seek... Let's do this. Seek, streamline. Hologram, streamline. Defend. Yeah, we can definitely use five energy, that's for sure. That was easy. Buh? Hello? What? Secret eggs. This is a... It's a 1 in 8 for each individual card to be upgraded. So 1 in 8, 1 in 64. Um, 64 times 8 would have to be 512, right? 1 in 512 to see them all upgraded. That's... That's pretty rare. The hidden omelet is the tastiest. And also the deadliest. Darkness Plus to go with our Doom and Gloom is pretty dang spicy, right? Who's our act boss? Not Champ. What about Beam Cell, though? Beam Cell to go with our Streamline and our Barrage. Also looks pretty dang good. This plus never seems to work quite as well as you want it to. It, it's definitely going to be good here with the Seeks, for sure, but I think this Beam Cell does quite a lot. I'll take the Beam Cell. Okay, so Sweeping Beam draws Dual Cast. That's not a very good turn. Where's my Smoke Bomb? 
And then the turn after that is also kind of bad. Nah, because we kill one next turn. Maybe I color this potion here. Let's do it. Patience is worthless. An ash adds some AoE, but doesn't actually help here. Bummer. Metamorphosis could make things even worse. Let's not do that. All right, let's kill him then. In general, I would rather win a fight. Hit you, actually. Let's got him on turn one there. All right, they're both dead now. Or wait, are they? No. Not quite. Hmm. I wonder if there was a way to trigger Panache on that turn. Either way, we get a potion back. Then discharge boot sequence and rebound. I can see rebound having good use, especially with Frozen Eye. Especially with Frozen Eye. I think that's still worth adding. We're really going to want some card draw here. Soon. Hmm. Actually, wait, you're just dead, aren't you? If I seek for beam cell streamline, we can we can do stupid stuff. Yeah, you're just dead. Mr. Snake Plant. Excellent. And black. Currently have no powers, but a Heat Sinks Plus in a deck that wants card draw and has two Seeks is very good. We should probably take this. Even though it currently does nothing. It'll make us want to buy a power at a shop. So I could dip into this shop and buy a power. Maybe worth doing. But yeah, let's take it. Lose a stinky smoke bomb. That would be powerful. What about apparitions? A way to be intangible. These are interesting. I think I have a hard time evaluating this one in general, and this is definitely a weird spot for it. They can never be upgraded. We do have two means of healing, which is arguably better with them. We have seeks for them, too. But yeah, no way to save them if we draw them. And we have Frozen Eye. Frozen Eye, I feel like, makes them a lot better. A lot better, actually. Hmm. Currently well above half health, which makes me inclined to skip them. We can only rest at campsites. It's a good reason not to take them. That's true. Fusion Hammer says don't take them because it makes our resting a lot worse. We're about to rest immediately, too. I don't think we take these. Yeah, we have a lot of reasons to want and to not want them. That's weird. Really weird. So I look at the shop. 100 for a card remove. We're going to get two elites and a chest before this shop. And I don't even have to go to this shop. If we don't have enough money, I can go here. Can't buy Apotheosis if we see it. I think we should maybe only go to the later shop an extra rest site here. That may or may not be a good thing. If we perfect the elite, we can recall. 
You've never taken apparitions after you stopped getting five. They're still pretty good on Ascension 20. It's not a no-brainer um, take like they can be, but they're they're still pretty heckin' good. All right, show me a power that I want. Hmm, heat sinks the power. We could just take second glacier. That seems pretty good. Turbo is here. I'm not sure we need turbo or aggregate with current amount of energy. But yeah, the only power is heat sinks, hilariously. Seems like a bit redundant. But I'm perfectly fine with glacier. Um, could take second Doom and Gloom. I don't need that. Could take another hologram, but we can't ever upgrade that hologram. I don't think this is a good all for one. Yeah, I'm going to take Glacier here. turn draw is a bit awkward. Currently we can heat sinks, ball lightning, hologram, ball lightning, and strike. Given what we're drawing next turn... Feels a Appropriate to fill the sneaky gremlin. We also have the option of using Sneko Oil to draw five cards right now. Although I don't think we want to do that. Especially not when we waste the five healing. I think we're perfectly fine to play this turn as it is. Yeah, I'm going to kill the Sneaky. We leave the Fat Gremlin alive, but we get a ton of block from the Ross next turn, and I can weak potion the leader if they're attacking. Weaken the Fat Gremlin, though. So we only take one immediately. We do get attacked. So I'll probably use the weak potion here. Also, we might be able to kill the Fat Gremlin depending on where the Lightning Orbs hit. Nice. This is 26 block. Sure. And then we seek for what? Streamline? Then next turn I draw the other seek. We can do Sweeping Beam, Doom and Gloom to kill the minions next turn. Or I could seek for the seek plus, and then also barrage this turn. And I'll still get sweeping beam, doom and gloom next turn. Kill them. All right, please summon again. Thank you. We have lots of damage next turn, so you should be dead. As long as I evoke my Dark Orb here. All right, very clean fight. We do, in fact, get to recall. Guess that's not so bad. Although it is mostly a sign to me that I took the wrong path and that we should have looked at that shop. Hey, that's pretty good. Cool headed draws one, but only one. Look at that weaken. 
Is Guria ever worth it? It is absolutely worth lifting at a rest site if you have Guria. Definitely. Is it worth spending 300 plus gold at a shop to get Guria? Very rarely. I think it's much, much harder. Hey, Regal Pillow. Cool. I think it's much, much harder to want to... Uh, purchase the Gurya because you're you're giving up a lot of money for a benefit you can't even use immediately. So we can seek for seek plus here. Beam cell streamline looks pretty good. Anything that I would prefer to get. I could do rebound streamline, but I think I'm just gonna do beam cell streamline. It's a pretty dang good thing to fetch on turn one. Glacier next turn anyway. Though not playing this one does hurt a little bit. Great fight for the Sneka Whale when I'm already confused, right? Rebound Old Snap? No, we rebound defend. Never mind. Never take damage. Ball Lightning Barrage should kill. Please get me out of this fight. Thank you. All for one is here. How about Compile Driver, actually? Compile Driver is card draw that doesn't need an upgrade. And I actually have three different orb types in the deck. Heck yeah. And I have Frozen Eye. We want an event or a combat. Feels like combats might be good. Keep looking at cards. We want to find powers. Let's take more card rewards. I think events can definitely backfire here. This could be Coliseum. This could be Thwack. But is it going to be? Probably not. And I'd rather have the guaranteed card reward, I'm pretty sure. Guaranteed money before the shop, too. But yeah, there's there's lots of fun things it could be. It could be an upgrade shrine, could be. Could be Forgotten Altar, could be the Joust, and I lose 50 gold. Could be anything. Could also be garbage. Have you considered that it could be garbage? We should play Doom and Gloom turn one here. Beam cell Doom and Gloom? I kill the cult as quick. It's not spending enough energy though. Dreamline Doom and Gloom then. Although I draw it with rebound and hologram currently. Seems pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I guess Beam Cell Doom and Gloom. Die to sweeping beam now. That's good. Could have also dual cast right then. Seems unnecessary though. Where'd that days go? So next turn we have compiled over, which will draw cold snap zap. Huh? That's not going to be good enough. Yeah. Then we can snack a oil into the glacier. That might be necessary. Um, I could also use Seek right now, but I don't think that helps me. I could use it to rebound something. It's only going to put another Daze in the draw pile. I'm not sure about that. If I Seek for Compile Driver and play it, we get Strike, Daze, Cold Snap, Zap, Barrage. That's going to be even worse. Absolute Eric, thanks for the prime sub. 
Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. I'm pretty sure I leave Seek unplayed here. Withdraw one, but then add a Dazed. I could Seek for the Dazed. To, to reshuffle where the Dazed goes? That's really funny. Hooray! Actually, don't take very much here. I don't think I need to use my potion. Sure. Just debating what are our, where our pen ends up on for the future fights. Is it helpful? Not really. Flex Potion's pretty good. Hologram seems to me pretty good, even if it's only a one-time use. Rob is waiting, part two. Thanks for the Prime sub in two years of support. And Cup Sides with the Prime sub in five months. Missed the past two months because you're a late sleeper. I feel it. And how's it going? Squirky Jimbers. What a name, what a player. Welcome, welcome. A seat, relax, and enjoy. Quirky Jimbers. Also, these draws are terrible. Hmm. Good fight for the Sneko oil. Sneko plant oil. Thinking of using it after I play Defend, Hollow Defend. And Beam Cell, of course. And I have two energy for these random cards. Nice! We get to Cold Snap Dual Cast. I can even rebound. Rebound the zero cost Cold Snap. Don't mind if I do. Excellent. I think one. It's a little unfortunate we're not getting attacked this turn, but only a little bit. I'm going to hologram beam cell so we can do a beam cell and pen nib boosted streamline to kill it before it hurts us again. Could be 45 damage. It is. Cool. Headed. Cool headed. It's a draw one and it's a frost orb. Feels maybe better than skipping. Slightly. Took all our energy. Still hoping for focus somehow. Sure. Hmm. Okay, I have Hologram, Streamline, Hologram, Streamline next turn. That's pretty sick, actually. And I can block with Frost Orb, Dual Cast this turn. So I don't want to rebound anything. I don't. No consideration for Blizzard? Yeah. I don't think so, unfortunately. Glacier next turn. Still hurts, though. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to skip this glacier.
Who's the weak pot here? And then, because I anticipate we'll need some block on this turn too. We can seek for the seek plus. This turn is hot garbage. Uh, looks like we probably want to uh, Doom and Gloom Glacier Barrage this turn, though. And if I seek for Beam Cell, we can pen nib the, uh, the Barrage. That's extra important. Would that get me a kill outright with a Flex Potion? Maybe, but I don't think I need to do that. Let's keep that Flex Potion for Collector. But yes, I'll seek for Seek Plus. They're drawing this next turn, which is garbage. Beam cell. And then take the Ascender's Bane so I have stuff to do next turn. That's good. Oh, by three. Yeah, I'll be fine. We're healing before Collector anyway, right? Like a lot. So I shouldn't try to prevent further damage that much. I probably shouldn't have even used the weak potion, actually. We get a kunai. Okay, that is very good. With five energy per turn. Sushi Cat with the prime sub in 20 months of support. Thank you, thank you. And we could get a shuriken to go with it. Or we could go for another glacier. Look at his strange spoon here. Wait, I have two seeks. Hold on. It's actually kind of amazing. It's actually kind of amazing. Or we could buy toxic egg, given that we have fusion hammer. That's also pretty good. But Spoon Remove seems kind of insane. Yeah, having the Seeks go into the dis discard pile is absurd. We can also sometimes rebound Seek. That's allowed. We can hologram the Seeks. I love it. Let's take the Strange Spoon. I think Defect has more use for the Strange Spoon than any other character. There's just more really good one-time use cards, like Genetic Algorithm, for example. And you have less anti-synergy, less cards that exhaust that you want to make sure they exhaust. Uh, what am I trying to say? Less cards that exhaust that you want them to go away, like Shivs, for example. You don't want those to go, come back into your draw pile. Why not take the self-repair? Because I'm already at full health all the time. Let's see here. Can rebound streamline next turn. Potentially. What do we want to do here? I guess I would like to double Doom and Gloom, right? I can Doom and Gloom, Hologram, Doom and Gloom. So I should just seek for Beam Cell on Collector. Because that'll do more damage and I'll get a Kunai activation. That seems perfectly fine. Boon. I could also Hologram the Seek if I wanted. It's a little tempting. some other attack, but I want to play the Doom and Gloom again. Doom and Gloom again for another uh, Dark Orb here. Doom and Gloomin. Relic Rental? When you run out of gold, you lose the relic. That's a hilarious idea.
Glacier would do 18 damage to you. And Hologram Streamline kills you. And I can Barrage. Defend him. Though it's kind of a waste. I want the Kunai. Actually, I think I just want the block. Don't waste my pendant. Not on that, anyway. Waste it on this. Perfect. Why he is so big, though. Compile Driver could get me go for the eyes. Seek for Compile Driver Streamline. Or no, Compile Driver Beam Cell. That'll get us a lot of block. Yeah, Compile Driver Beam Cell. Full block. You got nothing on me, collector. Take this. Wait, no. Yeah, take this. And then take that again. Put twice. And then... Also take that again. Yeah. Full block. Rude. Okay, this turns spooky. That's a bit of a yikes. Uh, you think with Flex Potion, maybe I can just kill Collector? An option, perhaps. Next turn, we have a definitely got a kill. Given that we're not dying this turn, probably better to keep the potion, actually. Because we end this turn with Pendib Charge, right? Kill one of the minions. I'm not vulnerable next turn, so I'm really not afraid next turn. We have enough damage to kill a minion. This would be 22 and 11? No, we don't. Okay, don't bother with that then. Ouch. Take 48. But then win. Dang. These are not the rares I was hoping for. Amplify could actually... Well, that's... No, Amplify is... Uh... Dependent on finding good powers. We have to find other things to amplify. We play the heat sinks, then we amplify something by using seek to get it. That's possible, but we would have to actually have that other power. That said, reboot or fission don't seem like they're very helpful at all. Fission with spoon is is draw on energy. Without our orbs having focus, it's actually not that bad to get rid of them without evoking them, but it is pretty bad. I don't think I trust Reboot very much. So what, do I take the Amplify and hope? God, I think that might be worth it. I guess Reboot's okay with Rose and I, because we know what the draw order is, and therefore we know if we want to change it. But I really don't value the Reboot that much. Actually, I guess with the Seeks, it's better than before. 
Yes, Amplify makes bad turn one draws even worse. I do agree with that. Same with Fission, though. Equally true of Fission. I guess that means Reboot is the only reasonable answer, huh? Pyramid or Pandora's Box? Five energy runic pyramid seems pretty good. Especially with Kunai. Just being able to retain cards in hand. Very, very, very strong. I could definitely see Pandora's box being okay here with six transforms. Rose and I maybe goes down a bit in value with the pyramid. But that's a pretty good pyramid. I have passed on Pyramid before, but today is not the day. Today is not the day. Oh, that's a stinky path. Haven't gotten burned for leaving the Elite to Act 3 this bad in a while. Definitely not ideal. At least we get to look at a shop. And we can maybe afford a remove there. Maybe. Boon. Glacier next turn. Let's get Streamline and yeah, Glacier. Streamline, Hollow, Streamline. Not enough, huh? Let's do this then. That's enough block. Bikers are a little spooky, but we have lightning orbs, so it shouldn't be that bad. Should not be that bad. That might have been nice. I guess I can play Cold Snap. Yeah, I need to. Take the Thorns before the Frost Evokes. Didn't realize that. Makes sense, though. The damage says before the Frost. That's fine. Charge Battery. Not a bad card with what we're doing, but not great. Sorry to hear that, Ethel being here. Here's something I can do for you. Why don't you enjoy a month of ad-free viewing courtesy of me? Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. 
Enjoy your sub benefits, including cozy sub badge, enhanced channel point gathering, and best of all, no ads. And Jay Fox, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the cozy sub club. I'm going to take this. I don't love it, but I do need some more kunai stuff. Stuff. Get me beam cell go for the eyes, I think. That feels right. Hollow streamline. Cup O Squirrel, thanks for the prime sub. In the two months, Brandy B with a prime sub. Thank you both. Okay. You are dead. D E D dead. Not horrible either. Good pendant card. Tub Sass with five gifted subs. I can take these two. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club, one and all. Give me Sunder. What hologram? Hey there, Zero XP. What's my breakdown on the Brutality card? Even without any synergies, Brutality costing you one health per turn for one more draw per turn. Although that health loss seems really bad, the extra draw can easily make up for it. Brutality is also noteworthy for being a zero cost power. Not many of those around. So I think it's, it's often worth it to take a Brutality. Um, works really, really well with certain other relics, though. With self-forming clay or runic cube, brutality becomes amazing. You either get two draw per turn or you get an additional three block per turn. It also work with the card Rupture. Let's see, this will be 96, right? Yeah. Kill you. And then rebound hologram. I can hologram seek. Oh, we're in it here. This deck is absurd. In a good way. Uh, let's go ball lightning compile, I think. Get him. The Bonkening. A Lawless Double Orb Walkers fight. We score a Tori, reducing unblocked attack damage. We're offered a Storm to go with our heat sinks. It's getting ridiculous. I don't hate it though. Dang, that's a big waffle. Thanks for the 100 bits, Lam Gwyn. Other Cave Schlub, thanks for gifting a sub to Mr. Demu. Metality MB, thanks for the prime sub of the five months. Lamb going with another 100 bits too. Any more Dome Keeper today? I was planning on doing Brotato after Spire runs today. I've got the beta patch working on Brotato, so I'd love to show off the new characters and items they added. Or that was added. Genetic algorithm with Strange Spoon, also kind of a thing, actually. Wait.
What did it take to get it working? All right, I have to I have to put my hands up and admit guilt here. Everybody was telling me to uninstall mods, and they were right. I actually did have a Twitch integration mod that I like installed and forgot about a couple of years ago, and that was actually the issue. So everyone who was telling me to uninstall mods, you were right. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't even know I had it, but I did. I did have a mod. My bad. Hmm. Could rebound, streamline. Next turn's looking kind of blah. If we get attacked for 30. If we get attacked for 5, it's fine. But if we get attacked for 30, can I do anything? No, I can't. No, I really can't. All right, well, that's fine. Let's rebound the streamline then. Play that for Kunai. Deck. Well, we can defend, defend, hologram, defend. Take 11. Oh, well. Ouch. Not go for the eyes, actually. It's a bad time to draw it. Glacier cold snap. Again. Oh. All right. Well, we got two two genetic algorithms in this fight. That's already a good start. For beam cell. Uh, yeah. Beam cell pendant the sunder. Seventy two. We'll cast the dark orb. Do some damage. Owl Milk with the 10 months, by the way. Thanks for the gifted sub, and thanks everybody for participating in that hype train. Y'all too kind. Way too kind. I do 48. Yeah, Sunder does more than that, right? No, it does exactly that. Get bonked then. Ancient Potion could be pretty good for the hearts. Equilibrium, not a thing. What about self-repair? Also not a thing. No need for self-repair. I heal here, right? Yeah. Yippee yay with a tier 2 sub. Thank you. 14 months. Yeah, I don't think we take any of this. This poor heat sinks has not paid off. <laughs> I have not found any other power to take that actually helps me. Oh, wait, there's... I found one! Holy crap, this shop. If only I could afford the Bias Cog and the Core Surge and the Runic Capacitor, we'd have an easy W, but I think just Bias Cog with the Ancient Potion is going to be good enough here. Dang. To have so much more money here. But yeah, we take Bias Cog on sale for sure. Uh, not much else I can do here, I'm afraid. Okay, we'll get one more shop later with more money. Purity would have been good too, yeah. Purity would have been nice there. Only I could steal that carpet. Alright, all we have to do is kill a giant head who has 650 health. Couldn't be hard. Without using the Ancient Potion on the Bias Cog, by the way. Couldn't be hard, right? Smiley face. Uh, I guess get Doom and Gloom, huh? I want that Dark Orb to power up right away. But we only take one, so maybe I don't play Go for the Eyes. Yet. 
Seems better later. I could use it now for another kunai. Go for the eyes rebound streamline. Oh yeah, that also gets me the pen nib on the streamline. That's worth it. 90 damage. And we don't get attacked this turn. Next turn, the doom begins. We better have a good block plan next turn. Or else. Looks like we're probably going to play Reboot. This is a bit ominous. I think it's too early to play Biased here. Hmm. Trying to figure out what the hologram here. Hologramming Compile Driver actually makes good sense, because I can draw three with that. Let's do that. It's me a kunai activation, too. It is time, says the giant head. It is time. Dang. All right, let's strongly consider bias cogging now. Hmm. Or is it maybe just Glacier Reboot? Down for Glacier Reboot. We'll cast into charge battery, huh? Or rebound charge battery. I like rebound charge battery. Like one. Not because of Tori, though. No thank you to you. No thanks to you, Tori. Hmm. Now we either want to keep scaling decks at a rate fast enough to keep up with this nerd, or we want to set up huge pen nibs. Perhaps both. Perhaps both. Oh, give me Compile Driver for now. And then let's... Strike for the Kunai. Want to fetch Charge Battery out of the discard pile this turn? I I think I do. Actually, I don't need to, do I? So we can get uh, Go for the Eyes. Good. Let's do that. Hologram Seek, I can pen nib the Sunder. I'm going to play the Bias Cognition probably two turns hence, from the looks of it. So I'll just play Zap for the moment. Up to five dexterity here, that's pretty good. Gram seek to get beam cell. I shouldn't have played the thingy actually. Oh well. Hmm. Not 
quite liking where this is headed. Hey, that drew me cards. Spicy. We want this to be Streamline, Barrage, Cold Snap, Defend, Defend. Well, I get more damage on Streamline if I play the Defends first. We're only going to take one with Tori. So let's do Defend, Defend, Streamline. Cold Snap, Barrage. Pick one. Okay. This turn and next turn shouldn't be too bad. After that, it's not going to be good. So we need to win fast-ish here. Lightning Barrage Glacier. We don't get the... Go for the eyes in play, huh? That's a bit iffy. Maximum damage from Giant Head. Also, I drew, like, no block. Terrifying. Uh, maybe I was meant to use Flex Potion at the beginning of the turn. I think it's still a good idea to use it now, because I'm pretty sure we can kill if I play Attack, Attack, Pen Nib, Super Sunder. Super Duper Sunder. Bonk. Hey, that was clean. I like it. We even get a Potion back, as well as Turnip, making us immune to Frail. And Auto Shields Plus is a pretty good block card, given the circumstances. I also don't hate another Beam Cell for Kunai power. Let's grab the better block, I think, with a free upgrade. And let's lose Zap. Or we could lose the Heat Sinks Plus. No, let's lose Zap. We've got a Ball Lightning. Free remove is good. More card draw. I like that, especially with Tori. We can take one, draw three. We get another relic. The frozen egg. All right, heat sinks. Come on, your time is now. And another relic? What? Hello? When was the last time I got three treasure chests in a row? Holy heck. With bottled freaking lightning. Wow. Okay. Bottle the seek plus. Amazing. Now give me some cards, please. That's amazing. Ridiculous, I say. So I want ball lightning and beam cell. Keep the sunder for next turn. Hologram for Seek Plus, by the way. Definitely tempting. Although Hologram for Beam Cell, also definitely tempting. I like that, actually. Pretty good here. Cool. Let's 
Hologram streamline? I guess so. It's already only two turns left. That's kind of cool. Need to know if this is getting played again. No, okay, that's fine. That seems fine. Perfection. Seek for Seek Plus. Seek Plus for Beam Cell Sunder, I suppose. No. These aren't powers. Although one is a hologram, and I'll take a hologram. Hologram do be good, though. Boom, come on. This is not what I brought you on the team for. One capacitor away from this being really important. I'm gonna grab that. This is more options for what the final shop could have. If only I was able to afford that runic capacitor, though. Could have made, could have made such a big difference. Oh well. We can still use it in some fights. There we go. Eek, hologram, hologram, genetic. Okay, that's gone. Fine. power. It is a power. It's not a very helpful power. Could have had two storms and an amplify. Stupid heat sinks. calling about.
do it that way. Good. Let's pin it this. Six by four is not too bad. Get back, go for the eyes. Okay, and once the hand gets too full, we can reboot for a one time, get rid of hand clog. Only one here. Go to ten with streamline, I guess. Lost both holograms, that's fine. That's always gonna happen. die to the lightning orb now. Actually, no, you don't. You die to streamline then. aspect of Spire 2 that I'm most looking forward to? The parts that I don't know about. Looking forward to discovering it as a new game with fresh eyes. Let's reboot instead of drawing Void next turn, for sure. Leak the Void so I don't lose the energy. The plate bias there. Guess I can do it now. Okay, that was somewhat encouraging. If we're rolling through the bosses, maybe we have a chance here for the end game. for the eyes and just hologram it a bunch. That sounds pretty good, actually. 
Please be weak forever. Soon too. Let's go beam cell, sweeping beam, cold snap glacier. Try to keep our decks comparable to the amount of strength the time eater has. Currently at 13, 13 plus 9, take 1, that's good. So goes Strike, Barrage, Defend, take 1. Now we can Pendib Sunder if we want to. Do Sunder, Defend, Defend, that's pretty good. Or we can delay Bias Cog, the better, of course. to deal damage at the moment. So let's get Streamline back in here. Oh, we haven't seen it yet. Excuse me. Get another Doom and Gloom then. We've had first Dark Orb, yes, but what about second Dark Orb? I see that I either want to play no cards or two more cards. I guess I'll do Heath Sinks Reboot. I don't like that. I'll do it. Okay, that worked out. Did not need to work out, but it did. Incel. Both Seeks are still here. Kind of incredible, actually. Ludicrous, I say. I'd prefer not to bring Time Eater below half health here. It seems really hard to do. The wait. What if I hologram seek plus? Seek plus for hologram plus and charge battery. Play both of these. There we go. Time Eater, it's time for you to say goodbye. Pretty sure I've got you here. The Sunder does 96 now. Line does 30? That's not enough. Sweeping beam into dual cast kills, though. No phase two for us. GG. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all this dexterity scaling? Earth Malaki with a prime sub in 19 months. Thank you for the support.
heal for one. And then... Amplify is back. Loop is here. Loop's actually very good. Also wondering if Power Potion might be a way to win the end game. We definitely take Loop. I could afford both, actually. Amplify Loop could really help. Yeah, let's do it. Amplify Bias Cog also great. Well, we have one Ancient Potion to block one Bias Cognition, so probably not. Yeah, that should give us maybe enough of an endgame to win with. At least I'm hoping so. I had the, this brief moment of, oh, thank goodness we drew Seek on turn one. Before I rem remembered that we always do that. Okay, so currently we're drawing these cards next turn. Algorithm, Defend, Streamline, Defend, Ball, Lightning. Um, and you're trying to put Burns on top, so we're actually only going to draw Genetic Algorithm, Defend, Streamline currently. I guess that's a good reason to... Hmm. How do I want this to go? I just seek for Amplified Loop. My next turn is not very good. Seek Reboot and hold it. I kind of like that. Could Amplify Heat Sinks to get our uh, card draw going. Cute option. Does Seek reshuffle? No. Only if we Seek for the reboot. Getting the hologram in hand could be really valuable. I can just dual cast this if I want to, or we can just take eight. Taking eight is fine, too. I could seek Consume and Loop. That's surprisingly good, actually. And that would give me Reboot next turn. could do Heat Sinks Loop as well, then I would draw to Streamline right away. Then we get quite a few cards in hand. Auto shields next turn if uh oh, oh so loop turns off this auto shield so i should probably just not play loop is what i'm arriving at here but what if i sought for consume glacier or something that sounds pretty good consume glacier although perhaps don't play the glacier this turn here. We did keep the Seek. That's really good news. And actually... No, I don't get the reboot. Unless I make room in hand here. Already, I should have dual casted first. Could auto shield strike. 
No, but then I take nothing, right? Yeah. Well, heck. I'm only drawing these four cards next turn. I think I want to keep the auto shields. Just strike here. Blocking 64. Incoming damage is... 26 plus 44, so 70. So this is a perfect block, apparently. Wow. That's kind of cool. And then now what? Now our turns are kind of bad. I could try rebooting. Is it going to be good enough? I'm not sure. With two seeks, it seems like it might be worth it, though. Probably only only want to do that at the end of the turn. Definitely we play loop here. I think I should dual cast. Maybe play one defend, one defend and reboot. Could do streamline defend reboot. Do one defend reboot so I can play a glacier. Being able to turn around is definitely welcome. The amount of damage I'm taking, not so much, but I could hologram reboot. Try that again. Quaint. Probably getting consume and glacier and hologram next turn. Those seem pretty good. Consume especially. I can get a kunai if I hologram go for the eyes here. Does have us taking quite a bit of damage, more than the Panagraph will heal, unfortunately. Seems to be nothing I can do about it now. Ow. By Amplify Bias Cognition, can I win in time? That is the question. I don't think so. Just turn back around here. Okay. Behold the orb. Behold it. Looks like we may want to amplify bias cognition next turn. This is only 41, by the way. We just play the charge battery. And we can seek for some stuff. Looks like a really good turn to get uh, Dooming Gloom in play. So we're going to kill the shield first, looks like. Yeah. Let's go Beam Cell Doom. Fire Spear will only do a small attack this turn. We can use our auto shields for once. Well, casting this next turn, we'll just strike kill the shield. Can I just kill you now, actually? We can do 93 plus 39 by 2. It's like almost enough. Yeah, almost. Not quite, though. It's a bit of a bummer.
Hmm. Dying next turn to Spire Spear's attack is also kind of imperative here. The next consume will do it, surely. Maybe I need to kill you next turn then. Because Spire Shield won't attack at all next turn, so no, we need to kill Spear. If we do 62 damage, we can bring you really close to being targeted by the Dark Orb. Uh, let's see, 62 minus... Or 159 minus 62 would be 97, right? The Dark Orb would still target the shield, though. We do have a Seek for Streamline. cost all my energy, but might do it, right? If we saw it for Streamline. Um, let's see. We do 62, bring it to 97. Streamline does 19. Uh, is 97 minus 19 enough, though? Hold on. That would be exactly 78, which dual cast would kill. But then I take 19 from the Fire shield, that's pretty bad. We have no block at all at that point. Hmm. Annoying. Okay, what if... What if I do the same thing on the shield, actually? Leaves me... Getting wrecked next turn? No, I can hologram a uh, block card. Okay, quick math. So let's assume I seek for Streamline. Streamline's going to do 19 by 3. And then we evoke this for 78. And then Sunder is going to do 31 times 1.5. Could be 46. Yeah, 46. It's 46. So that's a total of 181 damage, which does not kill. Damn it. Like, so close on both sides here. Heck. Deadly Pants, thanks for the tier one sub. Welcome to the cozy sub club. Yeah, what if we just try to block? We can block pretty well, right? Yeah, I can hologram for Seek Plus, too. Let's see. Incoming damage is 19 plus 16 by 2. 19 plus 32 is a lot. It's 51 damage. Can I block 51? Yes, I think so. Because we get 18 here. 8 here. Much of the draw pile, unfortunately. This would be a hologram for six. So you have six energy. One, two, three. Well, I guess we would want to. All right, so plus six is 32. Charge battery blocks for 10 is 42. And then defend for eight would be 50. That would be take only one. And that saves me, I think, one energy, right? Yeah, that's good. Then we can play the bias cog. Although that uses both the seek and the hologram, right? Hmm. Is that going to be okay? Because we have to kill the 
spear next turn. If I play Bias Cognition, let's see, this will go to 15 times 3. It gains another 45. So 39 plus 45. is 84. Okay. Hmm. Really want to amplify that then. If I only spend four energy, how much can I block for? Auto shields, defend, hologram, charge battery. That's 18 plus six. Plus 8, plus 10, 42. Take 9? Take 9, kill both next turn. So the dex potion would save... 13 here. We have a 40% chance to get another potion next... After the fight, too. He saves more than that in the heart fight, though. Mm -mm. Very interesting situation. Can't I just play an extra strike next round? No. Well, let's see. That would be next round. I'd have to just do. Yeah, I guess it would just be Sunder Strike dual cast, and you die, right? Yeah, I guess we can just do that, huh? Okay. We have more energy next turn too. No seeking, though. Maybe instead of charge battery, I hologram seek plus. Then I don't need to play the seek. Let's see how that helps me. Also, I need all the block. Okay, let's do this. Oh, the focus down. That changes the math a bit, actually. Kind of spooky. So we want to pen nib the sunder here. Just confirm. Yeah, if we get you to have less health on this thing, then you should just be dead, right? So 159 minus 62. Let's do it 97. Oh yeah, that was the problem. We can't just play an extra strike. Uh, although I can just maybe kill them both, actually. Hold on. Yeah, strike, strike this thing, then dual cast, and they each get hit once. So Sunder, Strike, dual cast. Does the ball lightning follow-up kill? I sure hope it does. With seven focus, the orb will do 10. So we go to 97 minus 82 is 15. Yeah, yeah, that does 15. Okay, so I think we're there. And nibs under here. The funky turn. Right here. Dual cast. Fall Lightning. Don't even take the burns. And we don't get a potion, so I'm really happy we kept the deck spot for heart. Ooh, multicast. That could be a way to really hurt the heart. But it could also be garbage. Interesting. Feels like it's a good damage plan, though. I think we take it. All right. 
Go for the eyes for turn two. Very helpful here. If I take damage, I just draw three right away. Might as well drink this now. We're not frail. Definitely got to seek for bias cog. It's too far down. Looks like we maybe want to seek for bias cognition glacier. Heat sinks bias cognition. Heat sinks is not going to do that much for us. We might be potentially be able to seek multiple times. If seek gets saved by spoon, we have a huge hand here. Let's seek first. I do want to amplify the loop. We can do that with a second seek, though. Captain Badrock, thank you so much for the prime sub. Gonna attempt your first A20 silent run tomorrow. Good luck. Make sure to pick up damage cards in Act 1. You're gonna need them. Elites are necessary, but not too many elites. You gotta strike a balance. I like two elites in Act 1 as silent. Is it better to get damage going? Don't cancel. Choose cards. Two cards for the drop off. Bias cog. Yeah, glacier. Gotta be. No way, glacier now. Did not keep the seek, unfortunately. Out of my hands. I want everything else here. Spooky. That is spooky. Hopefully the Tori protects us pretty well here. We need to just apply a lot of weaken with the holograms. Those are strong cards though. Do I want to consume? I think I do. Maybe just consume Streamline here actually. Let's do that. Necessary to play both of those. The Tori do some work here. This we want to block more decisively. It's a good turn for algorithm. Did get saved, that's good news. Uh, and then if I want to keep you weak, I need to use the cards now. Let's hologram for go for the eyes. Play it. Hologram. Go for the eyes again. Keep the hologram, that's good. And give me a Stex as well. So there we go, six turns a week, take one. The heart is weak all through next cycle too. Now we can play Doom and Gloom, feel good about it. Next turn we get to Amplify Loop, not this turn. Maybe I don't even want to Compile Driver. 
Actually, I should hologram beam cell. We can do a beam cell sunder here. That's super worth it. Yeah, that's worth using this hologram on. We need to do damage. Big time. 96 of it is pretty good. One more energy next turn. No, take a kunai. And then I could seek for Dazed or Ascender's Bane to get them out of the hand, but no, I'm seeking for Amplify so we can get that in hand with the loop. Although I'm not drawing enough, huh? Hmm. Hmm. It's annoying. Yeah, hand clog definitely becoming a problem here. Guess we just want to do more damage here then. awkward. Alright, give me Amplify now. Only 36. I'm sure it's fine. Dual cast and multicast are coming up. I'd like to loop this Dark Orb, taking some damage this turn so that we can do 200 damage next turn. That feels kind of correct here. Saying I don't want to reboot. Yeah, next turn I'll be able to sweeping beam into multicast. Then we can reboot. Okay, so play barrage defend defend. Take a bit more. Yeah, we can easily camp damage with that. We do Defend, Sweeping Beam, Multicast this for three, caps damage here. And then we want to reboot now? I think so. Get nine cards in hand. Yeah, those are pretty good. Well, Weaken has worn off, so being able to reapply Weaken here is really good. We get a ton of free block. Go Beam Cell, go for the eyes. Hologram, go for the eyes. That applies Weaken. We can Pen Nib the Streamline, although it won't be with Vulnerable. Really want to have Weaken for next turn, because with 5 Strength, it's going to be 7 by 15. We cannot accept that. But 5 by 15, Tori saves us. Note that this is the last multi-attack that we can reasonably block. So that's spooky. I might do Consume Doom and Gloom next turn then, so that we can have another superpowered orb. But with no way to multi or dual cast it, we're in big trouble here. We're in really big trouble here. Oh boy. Spooky. Yeah, doing 394 damage is a problem for future me. Indeed. I guess I probably want to consume now then, huh? Next turn we can play ball lightning. Behold the orb. So a hologram coming up. Okay, the 
Orb does 86 damage. That's pretty good. I think I need to evoke it now. Strike ball lightning. Blap with the lightning orb. What if it's multi-attack next turn, though? Do I need to end with a... Roarst? Yeah, we can survive a multi-hit, right? Um, with nine, it's going to go to seven strength, so it'll be nine by 15. Nine weakens to six with go for the eye. So it's only six by 15, 90. And if I loop with 10 block, that means we get an automatic 60, 12 times five. And then I just play Glacier. So yes, actually we want to end with a Frost Orb here. So we can block the next multi-hit. Let's go Cold Snap, Ball Lightning Strike, Cool Headed. Bring it under 200, very important. Okay, that's not the multi-hit. Um, does that mean we just win? Pretty sure that means we just win, right? Yeah, we just hologram Doom and Gloom. Doom and Gloom. Next turn, multicast, and we're there. Nice block. All thanks to hologram. Play Algo one more time. GG, Mr. Hart. G freaking G. Whew. That was tough. Put the streak back on one. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.